Hi there, it's your Uncle Steve, and welcome to A Minute of Pain, brought to you by More Than Exercise and MoreThanExercise.com. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about motivation and why it's a bunch of crap. Well, uh, lately I've been hearing a lot about people uh, asking me about motivation. How do I get motivated? What do I do to be motivated? I need to hire a motivational trainer or look for a motivational speaker. and That's all fine and dandy, but it's really just a bunch of junk. You know, I had a lady call me several weeks ago who said that she was looking for a fitness coach who could motivate her. And my question to her was, why aren't you motivated already? I mean, if, you, if you're if you going to do something, why, why aren't you motivated already? The problem that I see with motivation is that people have a misunderstanding. There's really only two kinds of motivation. Extrinsic, which is external motivation. Like if you go to a doctor and the doctor examines you and he says, you know, you've got some blocked arteries or some pre-diabetes. And if you don't do something about it, you're going to die. And so you get this external motivation to begin doing something. Or you have internal motivation. Maybe you have a desire to compete in a Spartan Games. Or perhaps you want to uh, do a bodybuilding or a fitness contest or whatever. And you have this internal desire, this intrinsic motivation that you want to do something. So you have this, this um, motivating factor that's just pushing you or compelling you to do something. And those are great. But... You're not going to follow through on them unless you make a decision. Motivation is really a spark of decision. The motivation stems from making a decision, but continuing on with that motivation stems from follow through on that decision. So unless you make a decision that you want to do something, you're not going to have the motivation to do it. Let me ask you something. When I was a single parent several years ago, there was a lot of times that I didn't want to be a single parent or didn't want to take care of things that I needed to take care of. I didn't want to get up early every morning. I didn't want to stay up late every night. I wasn't motivated to do it, but I had made a decision that I was going to be a good parent. And so I did those things because it's what I had to do. It wasn't motivation that kept me going. It was the desire to be a good parent. It was the desire, the decision that I had made to follow through on what I had committed to. And so that's my message to you today. If you want to do something, you've got to make a decision. And until you begin to make a solid decision and follow through on it, you're not going to have the motivation to begin working towards that goal or what that end desire of that decision that you've made. Now, down below this video here, I've listed a couple of resources, one of which is a lady who's a lot smarter than I am that talks about motivation on a different level, but watch it. It's about three or three and a half, four minutes long, something like that. It'll make sense to you because it goes alongside with what I've been saying right here. And also, I've included an article that I wrote several years ago on motivation and decision making. If you have any questions for me, if there's something that I can help you with, please get a hold of me. Let me help you. This is what I do. This is what I like to do. I'm a coach. I want to help coach you, but I want to encourage you first to make a decision that you want a desire, you want a goal, you have a dream, you want to go for it. Let me help you in the physical end of it. Let me help you in the health aspect or the fitness aspect of it. But until you make that decision, uh, you're going to either waste my time or your time if you haven't come to terms with what it is you really want. Now you think about that.